The snow is accumulating here in Pittsburgh. 23 degrees, wind chill of 16. The wind currently at 10 miles per hour. A mix of snow and rain expected the rest of the day as the Dolphins meet the Steelers. Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, the rest of our NFL on CBS crew. It's week 14. Pittsburgh has won the toss. Miami will kick off to open things up. Caleb Sturgis will kick to Felix Jones and Jonathan Dwyer, who are currently deep for Pittsburgh. From Heinz Field, week 14, Sturgis, line drive. And this one will sail through the back of the end zone, a touchback. Steelers have it at the 20-yard line. Mike Tomlin, he said, they're all must-win games when you're in them. And I don't think the situation is going to affect my decision-making. We'll get into that with the Steelers at 5-7. And, and Ben Roethlisberger, last four games, Dan, nine touchdowns, one interception. Yeah, we asked him yesterday about wearing gloves in this type of weather. He said he'll wear one on his left hand to get a better grip, but hopes to avoid wearing one on his throwing hand. He feels that at times the grip on that throwing hand is too good and it affects his accuracy on touch passes. Roethlisberger told us he really believes he was the first guy that started wearing it on a regular basis. But making the decision today in these frigid conditions to go without the glove on the right hand. Out of the gun, swing pass. Le'Veon Bell, good spin to the 25, it's a five-yard pickup, Randy Starks with the tackle. Starting offense, Cody Wallace, third different starting center this season, Pouncey Velasco, the other two, Velasco and Achilles injury against Baltimore, he's on IR. Antonio Brown, what a season he's put together, 85 catches at second in the NFL behind Andre Johnson, who's played one more game after the Thursday night performance in Jacksonville. Second and five for the Steelers, a five receiver set. Roethlisberger, protection holds initially, and Roethlisberger thrown down. Soli first man, Starks with the finisher. Loss of 12 on the play. This is going to be a problem for the Steelers. Here's Soli here. Here's Wallace and DeCastro. You can see that the strength of Soli gets beats the double team, and then uh, Wallace just is not strong enough to keep him away from Roethlisberger. Great start for the Miami defense, right up the middle with a sack. Third and 17 now for the Steelers. Three receivers set up with Brown, Sanders, and Cotchery. Roethlisberger to throw, looking downfield. Roethlisberger on a crossing route, Brown. Out of bounds, short of a first down. So Pittsburgh will punt. Chance to tell you about who's starting for Miami defensively. And this defensive front really picking up steam. Olivier Vernon, breakthrough season out of Miami. Linebackers, Stanell Ellerby had a second interception last week in that win over the Jets. And in the secondary, Nolan Carroll starting once again. But Dimitri Patterson is active for the Dolphins. He's missed seven games with a groin injury. Veteran Matt McBriar will punt it. Marcus Thigpen standing at his own 25, waiting for it. McBriar averaging just under 42 yards per kick. Sailing right to Thigpen. 47-yard punt. Thigpen spun down as he crossed the 30-yard line by Will Johnson on special teams. A six-yard return for Thigpen. Now the Miami Dolphins offense, Ryan Tannehill, uh, we asked him, Snow, are you familiar with it? Well, yeah, he said, I've seen it. I'm from <laughs> Texas, not the Bahamas. I just haven't played in it. Yeah, and he told us yesterday that he feels he's getting better each week in his decision-making and getting the ball out of his hands more quickly. He's been sacked more than any other quarterback in the league 45 times, so I guess he's learning the hard way. He also has his right thumb bandage. He sprained it last week against the Jets. Back-to-back 300-yard -back games for Ryan Tannehill. And the first Dolphins quarterback to throw for 3,000-plus yards in his first two seasons. First play from scrimmage for Miami. Running play, it's Miller. Nothing there. Pyle is pushed for two yards. Polamalu loops over to help make the play. 
Offensively for Miami, questions as to whether John Jerry would play, dealing with a concussion. He is in there and starting for the Dolphins. Backs and receivers, Mike Wallace, four years as a member of the Steelers. He averaged 17.2 yards per catch over the course of his time in a Pittsburgh uniform. Five receivers set, Tannehill out of the gun, gets rid of it quickly. Almost intercepted, Polamalu would have had an easy pick six for Pittsburgh. You've got to find where number 43 is. He lines up all over the field, sometimes as a linebacker, sometimes as a deep safety right here He's in the slot. Looking for Deion Sims, that ball hit him dead in the chest. Ryan, you're right, he would have walked into the end zone. Sets up third and long now. Just underway here between the Steelers and the Dolphins, week 14. Shotgun for Tannehill. Steps up, Tannehill thrown down Cameron Hayward. The light has come on for Hayward in his third year from Ohio State. His fourth sack of the season. And he would added a little exclamation point to the end of that sack. Just a power bull rush here. Tannehill trying to escape, but uh, Nate Garner just overpowered there. Brandon Fields, the veteran punter, averaging just under 49 yards per kick. Powerful leg. Antonio Brown waiting for it. Brown. Ranges over, brings it in cleanly at the 24. Can he get his footing? That's going to be a challenge throughout the day. A three-yard return after the 52-yard punt. Oh, it's going to be fun in Pittsburgh. We're coming right back. It's been a steady snowfall here in Pittsburgh. We're just underway between the Steelers and the Dolphins. First down run for Le'Veon Bell. The Ohio native takes it for a gain of four. Dan, you're a quarterback in this league. You know that this is part of the deal playing in the elements. How did you prepare and what's going through the minds of both Roethlisberger and Tannehill right now? Well, I think footing is number one because this field's going to deteriorate as the game goes on. And then making sure you don't uh, hang your receivers out to dry because they got to be concerned about uh, where they're going with their footing. So, uh, to me, it, there's no wind hardly at all here today. That's the key for both quarterbacks. Or get drafted by San Diego. That's another option. <laughs> that worked for me. Give it to Bell. Stutter step. And our first first down of the day comes on the ground. It's a nine-yard pickup. Will Johnson with a key block. Le'Veon Bell last week against Baltimore. He took a serious hit near the goal line with a concussion. Watch 46. Will Johnson here. With the kick out right there, great patience though by the rookie Bell. That's the way you run in the snow. You run north and south between the tackles. Be very difficult to run wide and be able to cut up the field. 73 yards rushing and a touchdown against Baltimore. 63 yards receiving on Thanksgiving. Bell the spin. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. Six yard gain for Bell. Pittsburgh that 22 to 20 loss in Baltimore. Bell looking for the touchdown. Jimmy Smith at the goal line. Bell's helmet came off, so the touchdown didn't count because the helmet had come off before he crossed the plane. And not sure Bell knew exactly where he was after that hit. Diagnosed with a concussion, but a little extra time off. And he's in there today for Pittsburgh. Yeah, he got his bell rung. He did. I mean, that's, that's a fair statement. Three tight ends in this formation. Bell, the shake and bake move. Well, that was an interesting handoff by Roethlisberger. I'm not sure that's the way they draw it up. Kind of a backhanded, right-handed handoff. Watch Roethlisberger as he comes away from Wallace. He's looking to, to block the uh, safety. Chris Clemens coming on the safety blitz. Roethlisberger sees it all. They are short of the first down. John Parry, our referee. Roethlisberger coming over. This is where uh, Le'Veon Bell is so important to Mike Tomlin and the Steelers. 
at 6 1 and 240 pounds. He's got the power and he's showing patience. And they'll be tested here on this uh, third down coming up. So third and less than a yard here for Pittsburgh. 907 mark of the first. And the short yardage specialist Jonathan Dwyer will replace Bell. Steelers have posted five straight wins against Miami. Victories in 2010, 2009, 2007, 06, and 04. Last loss came in 98. Last loss at home came in 1990. Third and one. Second possession for the Steelers. Jonathan Dwyer in. On third down for Pittsburgh, Dwyer gets the call. Dwyer trying to power his way to the spot, and he will. Strong push from the Steelers. NFL Today update. Let's head to New York. JB, Dan Marino. All right, fellas, Cincy on the board first. Oh, yeah, 10 plays, 83 yards. Andy Dalton, deep ball to Marvin Jones. Great catch, diving catch, 29 yards, touchdown Cincinnati. Back to Ian and Dan. And guys, we saw Cincinnati last week in person. Impressive physical performance against the San Diego Chargers. So it looks like the Bengals are playing their best football at the right time of year. First down at the 46 now in Miami territory. Play action, Roethlisberger, wide open, Miller. Inside the 25. 22-yard hookup. Now the play action pass really works here. Watch the effect on Ellerby as Miller comes in motion and then down the field. You got to respect that run and that's just enough for uh, Miller to get a big gain of 22 yards. Play action after the effective running so far by the Steelers. And a new set of downs for Pittsburgh to work with. Miller and Max Spaeth who was just activated off IR in there. Le'Veon Bell dances his way for a solid gain out across the 20-yard line. Give him a pickup of six. Got a sports fan on your gift list? Avoid the crowds and get free shipping when you shop this weekend on CBSSports.com. Take advantage of this special offer now at CBSSports.com slash holiday. Injured Dolphin on the play. It's Paul Soliai. We'll come back to Pittsburgh. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. The new windows. One experience for everything in your life. And by Ford. Only Ford gives you EcoBoost fuel economy and a whole lot more. Paul Solia injured on the play. Jared Odrick, who usually splits time with Randy Starks as part of that rotation, is now in there. Eighth play of the drive for Pittsburgh. Second and four inside the 20. We hit the seven-minute mark of this first quarter. On the ground, Bell is hit. Runs into a wall. Koa Misi makes the stop. It's a two-yard loss. I go back to the injury. Here is Soliai, and again, uh, an interior lineman getting injured with the, all the blocking going on. The Steeler fans obviously are cringe when they see that. That's the same type of injury that Marquise Pouncey had earlier in the year in the uh, season opener. Hopefully Soliai is okay. R.J. Stanford, an ankle injury for Miami. His return is questionable. Third and six now for the Steelers. Moving pocket, it's a flip. Le'Veon Bell, the catch and run. First down, Steelers. Really a well-designed little swing pass there. They had blocking out in front of Bell. Watch Matt Spath, 87, who's just activated yesterday. Gets a just enough of Jones there, and then Jones gets a whole lot of Le'Veon Bell. Very impressive opening quarter for Le'Veon Bell. Receiving and running, very powerful. Roethlisberger is now 4 of 4, 52 yards. Ball spotted at the 11 of Miami. 
Bell remains in there. Hand off to Bell, and he's dropped. Jimmy Wilson in on that stop, no gain on the play. Now Kevin Coyle, defensive coordinator for the uh, Dolphins, bringing the blitz more often now. That time, Wilson got to Bell just as Bell was receiving the handoff. Good defensive call for the Dolphins. And Coy very familiar with Pittsburgh. Back to his days with the Cincinnati Bengals coaching staff. Bell. A spin move. Elusive play by Bell. It looked like there was nothing there, but the agility and vision of Bell turns it into a six-yard game. With the tackle. So third and four now for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh coming in at five and seven. Cincinnati leading the way at eight and four. Baltimore six and six. Steelers had won three straight before the loss to Baltimore on Thanksgiving night. Three receivers set for the Steelers. Pittsburgh looking to get on the board here. From the gun, Roethlisberger throws. End zone. Touchdown. He connects with Sanders. Steelers take the lead. And for Ben Roethlisberger, he is now the Steelers' all-time leader in career touchdown passes, passing Terry Bradshaw with that toss. Now three wide receivers on that side, Cotchery, Brown, and Sanders. Cotchery's caught a lot of red zone touchdown passes, but this time it's Sanders picking up his fifth. He got one against Baltimore last week and couldn't quite come up with a two-point conversion, but starts out his day here in perfect fashion. 213 career touchdown passes for big Ben Roethlisberger. Steelers go 12 plays, 74 yards, nine of those 12 plays on the ground. And John Perry is going to come over and look at this one. All scoring plays are reviewed. He wants to get a closer look. So they'll take a look. Right now, Pittsburgh up 6-0 on the Dolphins. Yeah, John Perry taking a look and see whether Emmanuel Sanders' left knee was on the ground when Clemens comes over and makes contact. It appears his knee is off the ground. He backs into the end zone. I believe this one will stand as a touchdown for Pittsburgh. It was Brent Grimes on the other side of Sanders. John Perry has seen enough. If they determine that it wasn't a touchdown, it might have taken a little more time just to make sure he had enough yardage for the first down. Let's see. Well, the indication is touchdown. That is the universal signal. Don't need any audio with that, do we? Steelers in front, 6-0. Extra point coming from Sean Sweezum. Emmanuel Sanders among those who have done a little bit more in the absence of Mike Wallace, now a member of the Miami Dolphins. Antonio Brown has put together a career year. Cotchery has eight touchdowns receiving. And Sanders' numbers also very good. 55 catches now on the season. Sweezum adds the extra point. Ben Roethlisberger, now number one all-time career touchdowns for the Steelers through the air. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Verizon. Holiday savings on the gifts everyone wants. And by Macy's. Impressive drive by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And um, I think on behalf of all the play-by-play -play guys, I want to thank the snowblowers for clearing the snow off the numbers on the field. Yeah, you got to wonder about that long drive on seven minutes off the clock. The Dolphin offense three and out their first possession. They've been standing on the sidelines now for a long time. They are not getting any warmer sitting on the sidelines. Sweezum will kick it off. Marcus Thickpen is standing three yards deep in the end zone to return it. And this is returnable. Thickpen from the five. 
Stutter step move at the 20, and he is stood up short of the 25-yard line by the Steelers' special teams. Robert Golden down the field to make the play. With the playoff races heating up, download NFL Mobile to get live video access to exclusive premium content on your smartphone. Call Star Star NFL to download or go to NFL.com slash mobile to learn more. Message and data rates may apply. Sam Brenner is now in at left guard for Miami. Motion man is Egnew. Miller, single setback. Tannehill trying to complete his first ball of the day. It's a deep one. Knocked away. Mike Wallace matched up with Cortez Allen out on the perimeter. Now you had to anticipate this if you're a Steeler. And not only was Allen in great shape, but Ryan Clark coming over, adding the exclamation point on Mike Wallace. Ryan Tannehill said, when you think of the Steelers, you always think about defense. But teams have had success going deep against them this season. Second and ten. Miller, straight up the middle. Good run by Miller, hit by Jason Wolves. Defensively for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they come in ranked number 13 overall. Ziggy Hood starting for Brett Kiesel, the veteran dealing with plantar fasciitis. That's been a problem throughout the season. Linebackers, Lamar Woodley is back. Woodley missed three games with a calf injury. And in the secondary, Mike Taylor expected to get the assignment on Wallace throughout the day, although we just saw Cortez Allen with him. Ziggy Hood just limped off, and Al Woods is in there for Pittsburgh. Third and three. Shotgun Tannehill. Tannehill steps up. Tannehill gets the first down. Mike Tomlin, when we asked him about Tannehill, surprised at just how mobile he is, called him a big, easy runner, something that the Steelers have to be careful with. Well, former wide receiver at Texas A&M, and uh, he uses every bit of that easy glide here to pick up the first down. He was looked like he was going to get tackled right there, but it showed good speed to get out of bounds for eight yards. First first down of the day for the Miami Dolphins. They trail 7-0, under three minutes to go. First quarter, Tannehill! Ryan Tannehill! It's an all-out sprint! Out of bounds! Ike Taylor giving chase, and Tannehill turns it into a 48-yard run for Miami. Yeah, it's a read option play. Great call by Mike Sherman. Watch the effect it has here on Jarvis Jones as the fake goes to Lamar Miller inside. Jones takes the bait, and there goes the quarterback. Great call, perfect execution. And pretty good speed there. Two plays in a row now by Ryan Tannehill. Longest run of his career. Second longest run of the season for Miami. First down from the 13. Tannehill will throw it away. Al Woods providing the pressure. Now this Miami team, coached by Joe Philbin, said they've played a lot of close games, which they have. Eight games, four points or less. That's the most in the NFL. They're four and four in those games. Dan, you asked him, why does Miami have the edge in this game? He said he thinks the team's battle-tested. They've been through a lot on and off the field. Said they're tough-minded guys. And they can handle this situation today here in Pittsburgh. Second and ten. Miller banged down, hit down low by Worlds. Stop by Worlds. Gain of a yard and a half on the play. Now it's talking to Mike Sherman, offensive coordinator for the Dolphins on Thursday, and asked him about the weather. He says, "Well, we've we've practiced with a wet football today. Uh, we went inside our." indoor facility the bubble there turned the uh, air conditioning on it got down to 70. Mm. <laughs> that's really simulating what we're feeling here isn't it <laughs> seventh play of the drive this is a third and nine heart line the motion man out of the gun Tannehill dumps it off underneath for miller and he stacked up out of bounds big hit from cameron hayward 
And I don't know if he hit him inbounds or out of bounds. There's a lot of white down there. Yeah, it, it may be uh, difficult for the officials to uh, determine when a guy is out of bounds today. And the players. And the coaches. I mean, Mike Tomlin might be in big trouble today <laughs> with all the white here. <laughs> 30-yard attempt down. here, and field this, goal. This will be a challenge for the kickers. The snowblowers have got the snow blown off the 20-yard line. We'll see how Sturgis handles it. Caleb Sturgis, rookie out of Florida. Sturgis knocks it through Miami with points on the board. 7-3, Steelers in front, 40 seconds to go in the first. 7-3, Steelers leading the Dolphins, a winter wonderland here in Pittsburgh. Late stages of this opening quarter, eight plays, 64 yards. Sturgis with a 30-yard field goal. Jonathan Dwyer is deep along with Emmanuel Sanders as Sturgis will kick it off. They got the heaters on the sideline. They got the heaters in the booth, Dan. I'm, I know we're not supposed to give away trade secrets. Shh, quiet. All right, strike that from the record. Moving forward, Sanders. Sanders weaving his way through traffic, and he is spun down. That across the 30-yard line, just short of the 35 by Deion Jordan on special teams. It's a 26-yard return. Playoff picture in the AFC. Division leaders Denver at 10 and 2, New England 9 and 3, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, both are 8 and 4. Kansas City has the top wild card spot, and then it's an absolute battle for that second spot. Baltimore at 6 and 6, Miami the same record. Ravens own the tie break there. Tennessee, Pittsburgh, San Diego, Jets. All at five and seven, and still mathematically in it, Oakland, Cleveland, and Buffalo, but pretty high odds that they're going to be able to make a move into the postseason. Ball spotted at the 35-yard line for Pittsburgh, a 7-3 lead. Give it to Le'Veon Bell. Bell picks up three and a half, four yards up the middle. Soli is back in there for Miami. Tomorrow on CBS, Melissa McCarthy and Billy Gardell star in a new episode of the hit comedy Mike and Molly. That's tomorrow at 9, 8 central only, CBS. First quarter complete, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. 7-3, Steelers in front. Dan, we're going to monitor the snow accumulation based on <laughs> Brett Kiesel's beard. And we're about an inch. I, I know his chin is warm, but I'm a little bit concerned about those red ears. <laughs> Get the snowblowers out for Kiesel. <laughs> Ziggy Hood, right ankle injury. His return is questionable for Pittsburgh. As yeah, we start the second quarter. You mentioned that Soleil is back for the Dolphins, and that's a, a real plus for Miami. They think they can get pressure on Roethlisberger right up the middle with Starks, Soleil, and Odrick at times. Iron Eagle, Dan Fouts, rest of our NFL on CBS crew. Producer Bob Mosbach, director Suzanne Smith in Pittsburgh. Start of the second quarter. Roethlisberger throws. It's Miller. Miller loses the football, and they'll rule it incomplete. Pass intended for Miller. Incomplete. Beth Roethlisberger looks off the uh, defense and then fires the strike to Miller, but the, the hit right there by Chris Clemens comes in right on the ball and punches it out. Real close to being a reception and a fumble recovered by Miller, but ruled incomplete. First incomplete pass of the day for Ben Roethlisberger, now five of six, 57 yards and a touchdown. Steelers trying to convert on a third and six right now. Sanders in motion for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger gets rid of it quickly. Off the hands of Antonio Brown. Steelers will punt. I don't think Roethlisberger had a good grip on this pass. He kind of threw that ball end over end. Difficult catch for Brown. Still one that Brown would say, I should have had, coach. Matt McBriar to punt it for Pittsburgh. Marcus Thigpen waiting at the 15-yard line for Miami. 
Boy, nobody is covering the gunner down here. Delay game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. And that, that gunner is Marcus Wheaton, a wide receiver. So you think something could be brewing here? Well, I think they should throw the ball to him. I mean, here he is here. Here's Grimes coming to the interior here. And they have plenty of time to make a call and just toss the ball out to number 11. Still uncovered. Now Wheaton will shift over. And McBriar will kick it. High punt, thick pen moves forward, and loses his footing. Great catch, though. Kept his concentration as he was hitting the ground. The ball was hitting him in the chest. There's the signal, there's the slide, and the catch. Perfect. An equipment change for Marcus Thickpen. Working in some new shoes after the slip <laughs> on the punt return. Hand off Daniel Pickle, Thomas. Pickle. And this is one of the bigger shockers that Thomas is in there. An ankle injury against Carolina. Many thought he was going to be done for the year. But now let's check out our Fouts focus and all the attention that Mike Wallace brings. Yeah, Tannehill's doing a lot better job finding Brian Hartline when he's single covered. Wallace and two other receivers on the strong side. Safety's going to favor that side. Tannehill sees it, throws a strike. Hartline has a lot of room, breaks the tackle. Dolphins have a touchdown. I am good example there, taking what the defense gives you. Steve McClendon just limped off for Pittsburgh. Ziggy Hood has already left the game with a right ankle injury. Hebron Fangupo is in there for the Steelers. On a pass to Deion Sims, and he brings it in at the 35-yard line. It should be enough for a first down hit by Vince Williams and Lawrence Timmons. Well, the leading rusher in the game so far is that man, Ryan Tannehill. Two carries for 56 yards. Got the first down on that third down play. And then the 48-yarder on the read option, perfectly executed, surprising the Steelers with this type of speed. There's a look at Steve McClendon now in his fourth year in the NFL. Had to fill big shoes, replacing Casey Hampton this season. A five-time Pro Bowler. Tannehill can't handle the snap out of the gun and covers up. It'll be a big loss on the play of eight yards. Ball just slightly off target, but uh, one that Tannehill should have handled. Just over his left shoulder, and uh, it looked like he took his eye off it. He might have been looking at Polamalu, lined up right in the middle. This is a Miami team that has not scored more than 28 points in a game this season. The only team in the NFL. Second and 18 for the Dolphins. Dime package here for Pittsburgh. Fake the running play to Thomas. Tannehill has the time. Tannehill airs it out. Incomplete. Trying to get Rashard Matthews involved. Third and long. Let's head to New York. JB, Dan Marino, an update. No in Washington. No problem for Kansas City. Off an RG3. Interception, Alex Smith hits Dwayne Bowe with a slant pattern. He goes 21 yards for a touchdown. Kansas City's up 17-0. Chiefs looking to clinch a playoff spot with a win, plus a Miami loss back to Ion and Dan. All right, guys. Kansas City got off to such a tremendous start this season. They've come back down to earth because of some tough matchups. Tannehill is offline. Looking for Hartline. Incomplete. Last couple of times, Tannehill's been off target. He was just throwing the ball away. That time, he had Hartline open. It wasn't going to be anywhere close to a first down, but that ball just sailed on him. Way out of bounds. Missed him by five yards. Brandon Fields back on to punt it. Antonio Brown standing at the 26-yard line, waiting for it. Not much of a rush. Brown from the 25. Trying to circle. He's caught. 
Don Jones on special teams, 47-yard punt. Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers trying to get themselves into the thick of it in the AFC playoff picture. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, in theaters everywhere December 13th. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. And by the redesigned Honda Odyssey. Honda, start something special. Well, that is called the Roethlisberger, and no truth to the rumor that you have to look like Ben Roethlisberger to actually order it and get served it. That guy looked familiar, didn't he? Yeah, he's... Uh our card oper camera operator. Yeah, that's Pittsburgh native Keith Reese eating the Roethlisberger sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll be calling his cardiologist tomorrow. How'd that go down? <laughs> we have extended video if you want to go online to see Keith Reese finish the sandwich. Felix Jones on the carry. Second and eight now for the Steelers. 11.48 to go. First half. Pittsburgh leading Miami 7-3. Steelers. Five and seven, the Dolphins six and six. Roethlisberger, delayed handoff. Jones crosses the 30. Jimmy Wilson there with a the tackle. The ball came out, but Jones was already down. It's a five yard pickup. And the officials right on the spot saying that uh, the ball comes out way after Jones is on the ground. But that is still a concern for Mike Tomlin and Todd Haley, offensive coordinator, whenever a running back doesn't hang on to the ball. Le'Veon Bell is back in there. Jones to the sideline. This is third and three now for Pittsburgh. Steelers haven't had back-to-back non-playoff seasons since 99 and 2000. Roethlisberger loses the ball. Dolphins jumping over. Wake knocked it free. And they'll have to peel off the pile. Looked like Miami came away with it, though, on first glance. Now yeah, Cameron Wake, seven and a half sacks now, and another forced fumble. That makes two on the season. It's just a tremendous effort. Watch number 91 working against Marcus Gilbert. And he just uh, uses his speed and then it explodes. To Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger trying to get rid of the ball. He sensed Wake coming from behind, but the ball knocked out actually by Wake's helmet before Roethlisberger can get rid of it. So the Dolphins recover it. Wake getting to the QB and knocking it free. And Miami takes over at the Pittsburgh 31. 4-3. Daniel Thomas in the backfield. Clay in front of him. Tannehill. Throws to Mike Wallace, his first catch against his former team, covered by Cortez Allen on the play. And he hears the reaction from the crowd. Yeah, well, Cortez Allen really respecting the speed of Wallace playing way off by about 10 yards. That was an easy pitch and catch for Tannehill and Wallace. Steve McClendon is in there right now. He was dealing with a high ankle injury. Ball now at the 19-yard line, a first down for Miami. Working out of the pistol. Give it to Thomas. Spun, but Hayward did not let go of the jersey. It's a four-yard gain. Could have been more for the rugged Daniel Thomas. Now, Thomas did a great job after getting that handoff, avoiding Will Allen. Watch number 20 from the right side flash in there, missed the tackle. And then Thomas thrown down rather forcefully by Cameron Hayward. Daniel Thomas now in his third year out of Kansas State. Physical inside runner. Tannehill on the out route to Wallace. Out of bounds. I'm not sure why. He's getting so much room by Cortez Allen because this point in the field, he's not going to run by anybody. Look at this, 10 yards of cushion here 
that uh, Allen is giving Wallace. So he just goes down, turns around, ball on target, on time. First down for the Dolphins as they move inside the 10. But Allen has got to play a little bit closer because no sense playing for the deep ball here. You're too close to the goal line. Mike Wallace, third round pick of the Steelers back in 2009 out of Mississippi. First and goal for Miami. Thomas. Running inside, picks up three yards on the play. Lamar Woodley and Jason Worlds combined. We asked Mike Tomlin how he would use those two with Woodley coming back into the lineup. He said, well, flip-flop them. You'll see them on the left. You'll see them on the right. They'll mix and match depending upon the formation they send. That last play was a read option. I think that uh, Tannehill misread that time. And if he kept, keeps the ball, he might have walked into the end zone. Second and goal for the Dolphins. <laughs> Tannehill, wide open, Charles Clay, touchdown Miami. What a season Clay has put together, and the chemistry between him and Tannehill has been evident. They score off of the Pittsburgh turnover. The Dolphins have their first lead of the afternoon. Yeah, it had to be a busted coverage here because uh, Clay is wide open. It's a play action fake. Worlds gets a little bit of a hold there. That's just a super job of Clay faking as if he's pass protecting, knowing all the while he's going to release out into the flat. Tannehill with time, finds him, touchdown. Tannehill said they knew what Clay could do based on practice last year, but out of need this year with the injury to Dustin Keller, Clay has really stepped forward and has become a weapon. Extra point is tacked on. Miami's got a 10-7 lead on Pittsburgh. Five plays, 31 yards. It took two minutes and 29 seconds for Miami to score the touchdown. Clay, a six-yard touchdown reception. Dolphins lead at 10-7 over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Caleb Sturgis getting ready to kick it off for Miami. Jonathan Dwyer, Emmanuel Sanders are deep. This ball will bounce into the end zone, a touchback. Steelers have it at the 20-yard line. Back to the touchdown, Dan. Well, do you think that Mike Wallace will affect the Steelers here? Here's Clay, but watch the attention that Wallace attracts on his way to the end zone. Nobody picks up Charles Clay, and everybody picks up Mike Wallace. Career bests for Clay. 54 catches, nearly 600 yards, and five touchdowns on the season for the versatile tight end. So it's the Dolphins up by three. Pittsburgh with 8.15 to go in this second quarter. Takes over at the 20-yard line. Johnson, the motion man. Roethlisberger to throw it. Antonio Brown on the receiving end. Five-yard pickup for the Steelers. Saturday on CBS, it's the matchup that stands all alone. All grit, all guts, all glory. The Army-Navy game. It all starts live at 2.30 Eastern with College Football Today on CBS. Second and five now for the Steelers. Under eight minutes to play in this first half. Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. Steelers have 96 total yards in this first half. Miami with 92. Roethlisberger. Incomplete. Cotchery the intended target. And Brent Grimes, who's had a Pro Bowl season for Miami in the vicinity. But th that's the difficulty in weather like this for the receivers. If the ball isn't right onto their body, they have difficult time reaching for a ball that's off target. And uh, lately... Roethlisberger's been just a bit off target as he was on that one to Kachur. Third and five now for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger, six out of nine, 62 yards and a touchdown. Flag is down. This play never gets going. I think Randy Starks jumped in the neutral zone. Neutral zone infraction. Defense, number 94. Five-yard penalty. Third down. So it was third and five, but it was third and five and a little bit of change. So now it's third and less than a yard.
Joe Philbin in his second year as the head coach of the Dolphins. Well, we asked him about the Martin Incognito situation and how the team handled it. He said there was no panic in that locker room after everything happened. He felt that this team has good people throughout the organization and they want to represent the team in the right way. Third and one. Jonathan Dwyer picks up enough for a first down, pushing and shoving after the play. So a new set of downs for Pittsburgh to work with. Just the latest news with Incognito and Martin. NFL investigator Ted Wells met with Martin and Incognito for a second time last week, scheduled to speak with other players for a second time this coming week. Incognito kind of lost in the shuffle. He could be eligible to return week 16 pending results of the investigations. That's not to say that Miami would have him back. And Jonathan Martin, you will not see him ever again in a Dolphin uniform. Le'Veon Bell carries for five yards. Penalty marker on the play. Seven. Ten yard penalty. Replay. First down. So this one's coming back. Yeah, you've got to give Joe Philbin a lot of credit for keeping his team together. The uh, sanity in all of this situation is in the locker room. This team has not divided. They've stunk, stuck together. And Ryan Tannehill saying to us yesterday how Philbin just let us talk about the situation. He trusted us to relay our feelings to the media. And you can see in their play that uh, this team is very united. First and 20 now for Pittsburgh. Miami's got a 10-7 lead on the Steelers. 6.25 to play, first half. Roethlisberger from the gun, on time, it's Cotchery. So they get back the yardage that they lost in the penalty, and then some, a 12-yard pickup hit by Chris Clemens for Miami. And really a good throw by Roethlisberger. He puts it right on the body of Cotchery. See how he protects the ball from the big hit from Clemens here and falls forward for an extra foot or so. Cotchery, career high, eight touchdowns now in his 10th year in the league, formerly with the New York Jets. Signed as a free agent in 2011 after being let go by the Jets. On second down, Le'Veon Bell turns it upfield. And is brought down across the 35 by Cameron Wake. Five-yard gain sets up third and manageable yardage now for the Steelers. That's 10 carries now for 40 yards for Le'Veon Bell. He also has a couple of catches for 14 yards. They're leaning heavily on the Spartan from Michigan State. And don't you know he was celebrating last night as Sparty's big win over Ohio State? Changed the whole landscape in the BCS. Snow is still coming down. Not quite as steady as it was earlier. Third and three for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger dials up the deep ball. Incomplete, Antonio Brown had the step. It's fourth down for the Steelers. Boy, this was so close to going the entire distance. All he can do is get his right hand on this ball. And maybe if he had better traction underneath him, he might have been able to dive for this ball. But uh, Roethlisberger with a great throw down the sidelines. Almost. Brent Grimes has not given up a touchdown this season. And that one nearly went the distance. McBriar to punt it. His third punt of the afternoon. Thigpen backpedals, big punt from McGuire. Thigpen has room from the eight. Thigpen hit hard as he crossed the 20-yard line. 14-yard return, a 54-yard punt. Terrence Garvin with the hit. Ryan Tannehill dealing with the snow and the conditions. He's got the lead. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by K Jewelers, the number one jewelry store in America. Every kiss begins with K and by the new Intel-powered 2-in-1s. Intel, look inside. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report, JB and company, the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's coming up on the Verizon 
halftime report. Well, here in Pittsburgh, they've done a great job during the timeouts of clearing the lines out and the hash marks. First and 10 at the 24 for Miami. Double tight end set with Clay and Sims. Tannehill making a change at the line of scrimmage. Checks to a running play, Miller. Cameron Hayward there defensively, one-yard gain. Well, after the Roethlisberger fumble, the Dolphins did wasted little time. Tannehill finding Mike Wallace with a pair of quick routes, and then all the attention that Wallace attracts leaves Charles Clay wide open for the touchdown. Three for three on the drive, 24 yards, and that touchdown for Tannehill. Well, Mike Wallace talked at great length about how much he learned from the older guys when he was with Pittsburgh. Hines Ward and Farrier. Ben Roethlisberger, Polamalu, give to Miller. Will Allen with the hit. And a penalty marker on the play. They'll be holding against the Dolphins. 10-yard penalty. Replay. Second down. And that's Mike Pouncey. Called on the hold for Miami. Yeah, Pouncey really got his money's worth on this one. Lawrence Timmons shooting the gap. Here's Pouncey right here, and here's Simmons. Or Timmons, rather, and watch Pouncey with the right hand just going to tackle Lawrence Timmons. Hey, we got these two right here. Leo, Leo, 43-95. So, second and 19 now for the Dolphins under four minutes to go in this hey. first half. Watch out there. We got out there. Miami with a 10-7 lead on Pittsburgh. Dolphins come in tied with Baltimore for the second wild card spot in the AFC. Tannehill out of trouble. Flag is down. Tannehill on the move. Out of bounds. But the penalty marker on the play, where all the action was in front of Tannehill, and it's against Miami again. Offense, at the 26. 10 yard penalty. Replay. Second down. And it's Lamar Miller. And again, working it on Lawrence Timmons. Here's Timmons right here. 26 is Miller. Just as, uh, boy, Tannehill breaks the pocket. Very little holding, but watch the grab here. Just enough to get the flag because the official thought that Timmons could make a play on the quarterback. Joe Philbin made a point to say that Miller has been much better, much improved in his pass protection recognition. Second and 26, Tannehill dump off. Miller turns it upfield. Hit from behind as he crosses the 20-yard line by the combination of Polo Malo and Allen. 14 yards on the catch and run. Yeah, a real good effort uh, by Miller to make up for that holding penalty. Getting in behind the screen that time and just heading up the field as fast as he could. That brings up third down and 13. Miami comes in ranked 25th in rushing under 89 yards per game on the ground. Had 125 rushing yards in the win over the Jets last week. Third and 12. Tannehill knocked up in the air. Incomplete. Cameron Hayward over there defensively to get a piece at the line. Uh, Hayward doing a good job against uh, Nate Garner. Lining up as a tackle. Here is Cameron Hayward at six foot five. Watch his left hand go up in the air and knock this one up. And lucky for Tannehill, this ball and Steelers kind of running into each other trying to get after it. So Brandon Fields, his third punt, averaging just under 50 yards per kick. Antonio Brown settles under it from the 35, makes one man miss. And hit at the 40 yard line. Austin Spittler making the play on special teams. 10 7 Miami in front of the Steelers. Thursday on CBS Academy Award winner Robin Williams and Sarah Michelle Geller star in a new episode of The Crazy Ones. Thursday at 9, 8 Central. Only CBS. 10-7 lead, Miami over Pittsburgh. We have 2.21 to play. 
in this first half. Snow really picked up pregame into the first quarter. Now it's slowed down a bit in this second quarter. Pittsburgh, good field position to open up this drive from the 40. Jonathan Dwyer hit behind the line. Jared Odrick leading that charge for the Dolphins. It's a loss of one on the play. Are the Steelers going to get a playoff here? We're down to 202, 201, and the answer is no. Two minute warning. Miami up by three. Back to Hines Field after this. Rookie running back Le'Veon Bell, nine carries in the first quarter, just one carry in the second quarter. Bell suffered a concussion on Thanksgiving night against Baltimore. We've seen Jonathan Dwyer, we've seen Felix Jones in the backfield. And Jones is in there now on a second and 11 for Pittsburgh. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. Roethlisberger, ball was tipped. Miller with the concentration and a short gain of three yards on second down. Donnell Ellerby with the stop. So it's third and eight for the Steelers. Hey, run, run, run. Roethlisberger looking at how Miami is lining up. We're down to 138 to play in this first half. Roethlisberger, short of a first down, Cotchery. Jimmy Wilson with a tackle. Now this secondary of the Dolphins, the most improved unit on the team from last year. Steelers looking like they want to go for it on fourth down here because of the field position. They will, Roethlisberger on fourth and four. And the draw on both sides. But the question is, why didn't Miami use a timeout and stop the clock? They still can. Seven seconds on the play clock. And it doesn't look like the Steelers are going to run a play here. Opportunity to use clock, and that's what they did. Miami could have stopped this clock back when there was a minute 12 to play and would have preserved some time to use at the end of this second quarter. So a delay a game, 47 seconds left in this first half. That's a case where you might want to refuse that delay a game penalty and hope that the punt goes into the end zone. But uh, curious clock management by Joe Philbin and the Dolphins. That could be a question themselves as to what they would do deep in their own territory if they don't want to force anything or take any chances. Blocked! McBriar has it blocked! Popped up in the air. Jimmy the Wilson with the block and the Dolphins recover. Jimmy Wilson busting through. Miami gets it at the 42 with 39 seconds left in this first half. Now nobody blocks Jimmy Wilson. He comes right up the middle. Right to the foot. Ball goes up in the air. And the Dolphins heads up with the recovery right there. So Miami has 39 seconds to work with, a 10-7 lead on Pittsburgh. Tannehill working out of the gun. Pumped by Tannehill, forced out of the pocket. Tannehill throwing on the run, and he throws it away. Jason Worlds put the heat on Tannehill. Well, again, here's Jimmy Smith shooting the gap here between the center and the right guard, Will Johnson. Well-designed punt block for the, uh, the Miami Dolphins. Ziggy Hood has returned for Pittsburgh. Hood had a problem with his right ankle. McClendon left for a little stretch. He's been back for the Steelers as well. Tannehill underneath to Clay. Clay driven down by Allen. Five-yard pickup. Miami needs a lot more if they're going to send their field goal unit on the field. 
before the end of the first half. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report, JB and Company, the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. And yeah, wouldn't the Dolphins love to have that half a minute back if they'd use those timeouts on that fourth down attempt to draw them off sides by Roethlisberger. Of course, when you're kicking to this end of the field, notorious. Only one field goal longer than 50 yards has ever been made heading in this direction in the history of the stadium. Yeah, it's a third and five now for Miami. Just inside the 40-yard line. Four receiver set. 27 seconds to go in the second quarter. Tannehill guns to the sideline. Matthews out of bounds, and he's sure to the first down. 22 seconds remain. Yeah, you've got to go for this on fourth down. This is too far to try a, a field goal in these conditions. Jeff Reed, 52-yarder, September of 2010. That is the longest field goal and the only one 50 yards or better in Heinz Field history kicking to the open end of the stadium. Very little wind, if any, but still a long, long field goal attempt in these conditions. They're going to try it. Caleb Sturgis, 52-yard attempt. Delay a game. And they might have gotten the timeout called in time. Game. This is the second charge timeout, Miami. 30 second timeout. And here it is Falcons and Steelers, September 2010. Jeff Reed, 52 yarder. The longest field goal ever recorded at Heinz Field. We compared some numbers to some other stadiums around the NFL, and it's not even close. Heinz Field, 13th year that it's been the home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's in either direction, but especially kicking towards the river or the open end of the stadium. Wouldn't that be rivers, the confluence? Well, I, I'm, I think it, the confluence is a little bit farther down oh, the Allegheny when the Monongahela <laughs> comes in, <laughs> forming the Ohio. Very good, Dan. You are... Did you check Wikipedia before I played this? at Three River Stadium. I know all three of them. 52-yard attempt. Caleb Sturgis. No good. Returnable Polamalu. Troy Polamalu. Throws it backwards. On a handoff now. Ike Taylor. This will not be Auburn, Alabama. <laughs> but it sure was fun. End of the first half. Miami's got a 10-7 lead on Pittsburgh. Verizon Halftime Report's coming up after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Here in Pittsburgh, yes, it's been a winter wonderland. Slippery. Guys sliding around, tough to hold on to the football. But amidst all that, Miami has been able to have a little bit of fun. Tannehill to Clay on the touchdown. Tannehill, first time he's ever played in snow. Miami's got the lead at halftime over Pittsburgh, 10 to seven. Right now, let's check out our Sonos halftime play. <laughs> Football like you've never heard it, presented by Sonos. Wilson busting through on the McBriar punt. And we welcome you back to Pittsburgh. Iron Eagle along with Dan Fouts. A little bit chilly, thus the CBS <laughs> garment. We've made a change here. And for Pittsburgh, you figured Ben Roethlisberger, he's used to these conditions. 
But right now, it's been Ryan Tannehill who's looked very comfortable in them. Well, he certainly looked comfortable running the ball in that first half. He had that 48-yarder on the read option and, and that short drive after the turnover. And weather like this and a game like this where turnovers are so important, the Dolphins get one, and they capitalize with the touchdown pass to Charles Clay. And this game is so important considering that Pittsburgh is hanging on for dear life in the playoff race. Miami at 6-6. Six and six. 114 total yards of offense in that first half. And there's the turnover that Dan talked about. The Pittsburgh Steelers turning it over. Miami scoring off of that turnover. And they've got a three-point lead on the Steelers as we start the second half. Ryan Tannehill in his second year. Now these are the kind of moments that you analyze how a young quarterback is handling himself. And so far, so good for Tannehill. Well, they always talk about his poise and his calm. Very intelligent young man, was a pre-med major at Texas A&M. Don't know if he'll ever become a doctor who's uh, thinking about orthopedics. Keep him involved with the sports world, but he's got bigger and better things to do right now. Pretty good first half for Tannehill. Big question, though, is what about Le'Veon Bell? Did not see him hardly at all in that second quarter. We'll see uh, what his status here is in the second half. He was very effective, and they need him. No update on any physical issues, but we do know that he bounced back from that concussion last week against Baltimore. Happened on a Thursday night, so had the extra time to recover from it. Passed all the tests and got the start today for Pittsburgh. Steelers kick it off to start the second half. Sweezen to thick pen. Six yards deep in the end zone. He'll take a knee. Miami will have it at the 20-yard line. It was snowing hard in the first quarter. It slowed down in the second quarter. Forecast is calling for a bit more snow and then turning to rain towards the end of this game. First half possessions for Miami. And this short field here was a result of the Cameron Wake strip sack of Ben Roethlisberger. Tannehill on the drive was three for three. Hit Wallace twice and then got Clay in the back of the end zone. Miami Dolphins had lost three straight road games until last week's win over the Jets at MetLife Stadium. They've got a 10-7 lead on Pittsburgh. First possession, second half. Give it to Miller. Nice acceleration by Miller out across the 25. Tyson Claybo with a block, seven-yard gain. Big story coming into this game. Mike Wallace in his return. Spent four years as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, playing in 48 games, making the Pro Bowl in 2011 when he finished with 1,257 yards and 10 touchdowns and turned into one of the best deep threats in the NFL. But so far in this game, two catches for 19 yards for the former Steeler, Wallace. Keep it on the ground. Miller took a hard shot. Miller a little slow to get up. Ryan Clark and Ziggy Hood over there defensively. They limit him to a two-yard gain. Yeah, I think Ziggy hit. Ziggy Hood got the uh, redirection hit here. Lawrence Timmons setting the edge there. Oof. Daniel Thomas checks in to replace Miller. Four receiver set. On a third and one now for Miami. Wallace goes in motion. Tannehill looking in that direction. Now looks off. Throws. It's complete to Clay. Charles Clay with another big play for Miami. Out near midfield. Ryan Clark was trying to dig the football Larry away. It's a 20-yard pass play to Clay. Well, Tannehill was sacked twice in the first half, but this time he gets outstanding pass protection. As you said, Ian, he was looking for Wallace over the middle to begin with. And Wallace is well covered, and then coming to his outlet, there is Clay again wide open because of the attention the Steelers are giving to Mike Wallace. So first down for Miami. Take the handoff, Tannehill, a dart, park line, into Pittsburgh territory. 15 yards, and injured, Steeler is Ike Taylor. 
Another violent collision. Hartline on the slant route. We'll step aside. In the circle is Ryan Clark, and watch how Brian Hartline will duck just at the last instant, and Clark hits his own teammate, Ike Taylor. Well, Taylor had been flat on his back. They did get him into the sitting position, and now they'll help him to his feet. Wow. And Taylor will That's... get up and jog to the sideline, get a reaction from this crowd. That is toughness right there. Because he was definitely out for a while. Longtime so... teammates, Ike Taylor, Ryan Clark. Taylor in his 11th year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Clark in his 12th year in the league. Been with the Giants and the Washington Redskins. And Clark has the reputation as one of the hardest hitters in the NFL. Daniel Thomas, play action. Tannehill throws. It's complete to Hartline. Inside the 20, brought down by William Gay. That's 18 yards. Tannehill to his dependable target, Brian Hartline. And offensive coordinator Mike Sherman not wasting any time going after Mike Taylor's replacement, William Gay. Antoine Blake is now out there for Pittsburgh. And Blake will line up opposite Hartline. Give it to Thomas. Daniel Thomas keeps the legs churning. Inside the 15-yard line, Cameron Hayward brings him down from behind. It's a six-yard gain, and now Taylor will return for the Steelers. Yeah, just in the nick of time because the uh, Dolphins not only throwing in that area, but that time the handoff to Thomas running in that area. Antoine Blake, the second-year player playing way off, had no force at all. And Thomas uh, almost got to the end zone. Second and four now for Miami. They've got a three-point lead on Pittsburgh. Thomas shifts out of the backfield. <laughs> Shotgun for Tannehill. In some trouble, avoids it. Tannehill will throw. Incomplete. Throws it away. Jason Worlds with the pressure on the second-year QB, Tannehill. Now Tannehill doing a good job today, not forcing the ball, knowing when it's prudent to throw it out of the end zone or just out of bounds. But the immediate pressure right away, nobody picks up Worlds. And the good decision there, as you can see, the three Dolphin receivers are well covered by the Steelers. Eighth play of the drive. Opening up this second half, Miami facing a third and four. Four receiver set. <laughs> Tannehill slings it underneath. It's caught by Thomas with a flag down right at the end of the play. And call personal foul against the Steelers. So this will be first and goal to go half the distance. First and foul, defense, number 25, contact to a defenseless player. Result was a catch, half the distance, first and goal. It's Ryan Clark, Tomlin just looked at the big screen. Yeah, I'm not so sure that uh, Thomas is a defenseless receiver on this play. He makes the catch and takes two steps, and then Taylor comes in, or Clark rather, comes in with the hit. Well, that's a real iffy call. Is that reputation based? Uh, absolutely. That's an official anticipating uh, personal foul penalty. First and goal for Miami. <laughs> Tannehill on a give. Thomas untouched. Touchdown, Dolphins. Daniel Thomas back from injury. He adds to the Miami lead. Yeah, great job of reading the backside cut here. Great blocking up front by John Jerry and Tyson Claybo. Watch them come down here. Thomas sees it and then gets into the end zone as easy as you possibly could get into the end zone. Nine plays, 80 yards, and a strong statement by the Dolphins.
to start this third quarter. Caleb Sturgis on. Sturgis just sprayed that extra point, but he gets it through. Miami with a 17-7 lead now over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Daniel Thomas for Pater. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Bank of America. And by Kelly Blue Book. Everything you need to make a smart new car decision is at kbb.com. Fall Run Park in Shaler, Pennsylvania, December Sunday. Here in the Pittsburgh area, Miami's got a 17-7 lead on the Steelers, 10.50 to go in the third. Emmanuel Sanders, the deep man, off the kick by Sturgis from the one. Sanders slowed down and won't get to the 20. Mike Gillisley making the play on special teams. Tonight on 60 Minutes, a Navy SEAL story of bravery and survival, plus the people who knew Nelson Mandela best. On 60 Minutes, tonight only CBS. Steelers coming out with uh, Matt Spaeth and Will Johnson. And Le'Veon Bell finally joins the huddle for the Steelers. Didn't see a lot of Bell in the late stages of that second quarter. Bell very effective in the first quarter. He's got 10 carries, 40 yards, two catches for 14 yards. Three tight ends in this formation on a first down for Pittsburgh. Now at a 10-point hole. Roethlisberger the pump. Roethlisberger. Sideline throw to Will Johnson. And a good catch by Johnson. Second year out of West Virginia. Nine-yard gain on the play. Yeah, real good pass protection for Roethlisberger that time. I would expect that Todd Haley would be getting rather anxious to get start getting the ball to Antonio Brown. He told me that he wants to target him between 12 and 13 times this game against the Dolphins. So far, Brown with two catches for only 21 yards. Pittsburgh comes in, ranked 15th in total offense, 339 yards per game. Fake the handoff. On second and one, Roethlisberger, deep ball. Incomplete, Marcus Wheaton, the rookie out of Oregon State, matched up with Nolan Carroll. Well, Wheaton's calling for a penalty flag on this, but this ball was uncatchable, overthrew both Carroll and Wheaton. And uh, Carroll has as much a right to this ball as does Wheaton. Good non-call. In fact, the ball goes right off the fingertips of Nolan Carroll. Carroll has now started nine games for the Dolphins. He's done a terrific job. Dimitri Patterson was signed to a three-year, $16 million contract with Cleveland. Didn't make it with the Browns. Dolphins picked him up. Patterson's been effective, too. Roethlisberger, play fake. He drops it in the bucket to Miller. Long gain down the field for Pittsburgh. 31 yards. Old, reliable Heath Miller, the nine-year veteran. Yeah, on third and one, a little play action. Watch the fake block here by Miller. He just releases into the secondary, gets behind Grimes, and what a nice soft touch by Roethlisberger. So the Steelers on the move now inside the 45 of Miami. We approach nine minutes to go in the third. 17-7, the right Dolphins now. in front. Three catches, 56 yards for Miller. Roethlisberger at dart. Antonio Brown. Brown turning on the speed. Antonio Brown takes it all the way. Touchdown, Steelers. Uh, a great call on third and short to Heath Miller. Then on first down, you get the slant route to Brown against zone coverage. And this is just the uh, third touchdown catch. The 
Dolphins have given up to a wide receiver all season. Sanders got one in the first quarter, and now Brown does his thing, weaving his way all the way to the end zone. Great play by Antonio Brown. The only other wide receiver to catch a touchdown on this defense was New England's Aaron Dobson back in week eight. But Roethlisberger has victimized the Miami secondary twice. It's a three-point game, third quarter. Quick strike for the Pittsburgh Steelers, four plays, 83 yards, the 43-yard touchdown for Antonio Brown. That's number seven on the season for Brown, trying to become the second Pittsburgh Steeler to catch 90 passes in one season. Hines Ward is the other. Roethlisberger did all through the air on that drive, 83 yards and four plays. A quick answer to the Dolphin touchdown. Sweezum will now kick it off to Marcus Thigpen. Short kick. Thigpen from the five. Trying to get to the outside. And he has spun out of bounds. Just short of the 25 by Wheaton. Penalty marker on the play. Holding. Go back to the touchdown, and it's a slant route, but watch the blocking down the field by Heath Miller and Emmanuel Sanders. Just a little crossing route against the zone. Great move there on Ellerby, and now the block here. Watch on Chris Clemens by Heath Miller, and then the speed and explosion. Just enough of a bump there by Sanders gets his buddy in the end zone. Holding call against Miami, so that backs it up on the return. Seventeen fourteen lead for the Dolphins. Ball at the ten yard line. With eight fifty two to go in the third. Shotgun, a slip by Thomas, and he's dropped right there. That play looked doomed from the beginning as Worlds was ready for it. NFL Today update, J.B., Dan Marino in New York. Dan Luck specializes in comeback. Yes, he does, and here he comes. He's looking to come back, bring his coach from behind. Derrick Rogers catches this pass, breaks two tackles. He goes 69 yards for a touchdown. Hey, 21-7, Cincinnati. Back to Heine and Dan. Indianapolis guys can't clinch the division with a win or a Tennessee loss, but they're down against the Bengals. Tannehill throws, intercepted, it's Polamalu! Diving, Polamalu going airborne, touchdown Steelers! What an effort! They're going to review this one to whether Polamalu actually broke the plane before he was knocked out of bounds. It was a touchdown, although the body was outside the pylon. The ball went over on top of the pylon. Touchdown. So that's the call from John Perry, a 19-yard return. Polamalu's first touchdown off an interception this season let's take a look takes off from the three yard line gets hit there by clay and that's real close to being out of bounds the replay booth will take a look at this one Tannehill also in on the play they may not have enough visual evidence to overturn the touchdown call on the field it's under review the NFL on CBS is sponsored by The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of The Home Depot. And by Bud Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. Well, referee John Perry under the hood looking at this angle. Whether Polamalu actually broke the plane with the ball called the touchdown on the field. I don't know how they can 
reverse it based upon After the review. The play, the play stands. As far as Ryan Tannehill took a shot at the end of that play to the head as he went down low. How critical was that holding penalty on the kickoff that backed the Dolphins up. Thomas slips on the first play for a couple yard loss. Second play, Polamalu picks off Tannehill. No stranger to the end zone after picking off a pass. 32 career interceptions, three return for scores. And that one a game changer. Pittsburgh now leads it 20 to 17 with 8.05 to go. Extra points squeeze them 21 17. A lot of activity in this third quarter. Polamalu taking it all the way. Combined scoring 21 points in the last 245. Touchdown for Miami, but two for Pittsburgh. Each team has turned it over once. That turnover by Tannehill costly, though, as Troy Palomalu comes up with a pick six. The Steelers now in front, 21 to 17. Sweezer will kick it off. Thigpen is standing eight yards deep in the end zone. Takes it from the three. Toss up the football, but he was already out of bounds. His body spill out along the perimeter. Shamarco Thomas over there to make the play for Pittsburgh. Well, there's a reason why Troy Polamalu is one of the best of all time. Here he is lined up as a, a defensive tackle. Watch as he drops back. Reads the eyes of the quarterback. Tannehill looking to Hartline here on the slant route. Polamalu sees that, cuts underneath and makes the pick and now this is where he's special knowing where the end zone is and doing everything it takes to get there first down at the 29 Miami now finds itself trailing against the Steelers running play Thomas knifes his way for strong gain of six yards to the 35 hit by Jason Worlds in the AFC, Kansas City, 9-3. and three. They've got the top wild card spot. Baltimore at 6-6. Six and six. There's Miami, and there is Pittsburgh, 5-7. and seven, A game behind the Ravens and the Dolphins. Hey, no, no. Hey, boy, it's 94, Rocco. Thomas now 23 yards on the ground and a touchdown for Miami. Second and four. Tannehill, low throw. Excellent hands by Clay, but they rule that... It hit the ground. It'll be third down for the Dolphins. We send it to New York. JB and Dan Marino. Dan, what word did you use about luck in the Colts? Well, he can come back. He comes back on this one. He throws to LeVon Brazil. Watch the tackles this guy breaks. That's three tackles. That's four, five, That's six tackles. Tackle. Hmm. He goes in 19 yards for a touchdown, bringing him back 21-13. Extra point is pending. That's like Ian Eagle trying to tackle Dan arm tackling. Ian Eagle. Yeah, that, that wouldn't work, JB. <laughs> that would be over very quickly. Third and four. Tannehill sets it up down the sideline. Clay! No, no, no. Charles Clay, it's a clean catch. He lost it when he went out of bounds. Cortez Allen matched up with Clay, who continues to produce for the Dolphins. And this is a tight end slash H-back slash fullback. There's the catch, both feet in, now to the sidelines, and uh, Allen knocks it out, but not before he establishes the catch. Steelers looked at the big screen. They're trying to say that it was incomplete. Miami is lined up. And unless Mike Tomlin wants to throw the red flag, which would not be a wise decision, that play will stand. Give it to Thomas. Daniel Thomas breaking tackles. Whew, got thrown down. Cameron Thomas Hayward was, uh, coming over. But the damage was already done. Boy, if he didn't have such a big jersey, he would have been in the end zone. This was a the tail of his shirt that brings him down. Watch the high knee action for Thomas here as he gets through the traffic. Breaks a couple of tackles right there, and then it's the left hand and right hand 
by Hayward to bring him down after 13. Thomas has been effective, but he's also in there because Lamar Miller suffered a concussion. He will not return. First down for Miami. Dolphins trying to go back in front. Play clock down to two. Tannehill looks. Makes the connection with Clay. Sheds one tackler. Clay still going. And he has stood up short of the five-yard line by Clark. Six-yard gain for Miami. And Clay needs a breather. Well, he's got six catches so far. That one down the sidelines against Cortez Allen. Allen had to be the most surprised guy in the world to have a tight end run right by him and a perfect throw from Tannehill. Second and four now for the Dolphins. Agnew, the motion man. Tannehill with a give. Thomas, another hard hit up the middle for two. Will Allen with the stamp. Well, Will Allen came a long way from his safety spot to put this hit on Daniel Thomas. He gets help from Jason Worlds. But the intensity now, you can tell how much this game means to both teams. Great effort on both sides of the ball. On third and two now for the Dolphins. Moving pocket. Tannehill looks, fires. Walking the tightrope. Brian Hartline incomplete. Tannehill and Hartline motioning to the Miami sideline. Throw the red flag. Are they right? Well, Hartline still got the ball. Yes, they are right. That's a touchdown. Both feet down. What a great catch by Hartline. Perfect throw by Tannehill. And that one's going to be a touchdown for Miami. As Hartline's going over to Joe Philbin, begging him to throw the challenge flag in. Come on, Joe, throw it. There, there it, it is. goes. More of a shovel pass <laughs> challenge the previous play incomplete pass versus a score we'll review the play you know the Miami offense going off the field they believe Hartline ruled incomplete two officials felt that Hartline was out of bounds well he's got control of the ball all the way to the ground ball never moves now watch his feet yeah, he got Left the toes toe down. Left toe drags, the right toe comes down. Just, you just can't do it any better than that. Both the throw on the run by Tannehill and then the catch. This type of play, you, you see that number 82 and you immediately think about Raymond Berry when you see a catch like that. The great Hall of Famer of the Baltimore Colts catching a sideline pass from Johnny Yu. Well, during the offseason, the Dolphins showed their faith in Hartline. They rewarded him with a five-year, $31 million deal. And Hartline has delivered this year. There's a chance Miami could have two receivers go over 1,000 yards for the first time since Duper and Clayton did it in 1991 with Hartline and Wallace climbing up. Who was throwing the ball to the... Uh I don't know. Those we two we might have the to Mark check Brothers. the video. Who was that old guy. Well, that's of course Dan Marino. Oh, that's right. He's we've pretty been good. Was tossing he? to in the studio throughout the day. I bet he likes this catch. Now the left foot definitely. Now watch the right toe. It's all we need. And the great control as he hits the ground. Now the ball in his left hand kind of cushioned the blow of hitting the ground with his right hand. John Perry is ready to deliver the news. After reviewing the play with possession, two feet in the end zone, complete control, touchdown. Brian Hartline. Man, and he had to convince his coach to throw the challenge flag. That is a major highlight. Considering the circumstances, everything that's on the line here for Miami and Pittsburgh, Tannehill, the heart line, has put the Dolphins back in front in a wild third quarter at Heinz Field. 
Extra point, Sturgis. 24-21, Miami leads it. 4.52 to go in the third. We're coming back to the Steel City after this. Next Sunday, the NFL on CBS stays locked in the playoff chase. Tom Brady and the Patriots battle the Dolphins. The Jets tangle with Cam Newton and the Panthers, or the Chiefs meet the Raiders. It all starts live at noon Eastern. JB and Company, the NFL Today, presented by Southwest Airlines. It's a great job by Ryan Tannehill after throwing the pick six to Polamalu. Those three for five on that drive, three for four rather on the drive. The big one, the bomb down the sidelines to Clay. Clay huge on the drive, two catches for 46. Sturgis kicks it off. Emmanuel Sanders will take it from the six for Pittsburgh. Sanders brought down just short of the 22 by Freeney. We've talked about the AFC playoff picture. Let's update you on the NFC. Seattle, what a season they've put together. New Orleans at 9-3, and three, Detroit and Dallas, Carolina, and San Francisco. And in the hunt, Philadelphia having a tough time in with the weather and with the Lions. Arizona at 7-5, 14-6. Detroit leading the Eagles in the fourth quarter. 4.46 to go, third quarter here. Le'Veon Bell is in for Pittsburgh. They open up this drive from the 22. Roethlisberger, two touchdowns, 165 yards through the air. Rush coming. Roethlisberger avoids it and then bounces it in the direction of Jericho Kotchery. Jared Odrick getting to the quarterback and forcing Roethlisberger to get rid of it. Yeah, we haven't heard a whole lot out of Olivier Vernon today, but Odrick has got four and a half sacks on the year to go along with Olivier's Vernon's uh, ten and a half. Good pressure that time. Cameron Wake now with seven and a half. He stripped the ball away from Roethlisberger earlier. And Miami turned that into points. Second and ten. Dolphins lead by three. Give it to Bell. Le'Veon Bell squeezing through a hole across the 25. Randy Starks will get credit for the stop. It's a six-yard gain for Pittsburgh. So third and four now for the Steelers. Spread the field, five receivers set. We come up on four minutes to go in the third. Looks like double coverage on the top here on Antonio Brown. Hey, bring it, bring it to the line, and Roethlisberger may be making an adjustment based on that look. From the gun. Soft toss, called in by Cotchery. And there's the touch you talked about with Ben Roethlisberger when he debated whether or not to wear the glove. It's the throws like this that he didn't have a great feel based on the glove on the right hand. Here comes Cotri, just a, a, the perfect style of slot receiver with the size and the knowledge in the soft hands. Yeah, line, line, line. And a new set of downs for Pittsburgh. Out across the 35-yard line. They trail Miami by three. Roethlisberger gets rid of it quickly. Set up the screen for Antonio Brown. And a penalty marker on the play. Yeah, this one's coming back, holding against the Steelers. It was such a quick screen out to the outside. The hold had to be almost immediately when the ball was snapped. Holding. Holding. Offense. Offense. Number 66. 10 yard penalty. Replay. First down. It's David DeCastro called on the hold. He was a question mark for this game with a foot injury. Yeah, he just kind of whipped Randy Starks to the ground. But that's as quick of a holding penalty as you'll, you'll ever see. Mike Tomlin livid along the Pittsburgh sideline. First and 20 now for the Steelers. Good enough. We're down to three minutes to go in the third quarter. 
Bell single setback. Roethlisberger pump. Throw underneath to Bell. Trying to get him out in space. Bell. Tried to lean forward, and they'll give him forward progress for a 10-yard gain. Ellerby combining with Wheeler, the two big free agent signing linebackers, make the stop. And it's another screen pass for the Steelers. They, they've got to lead the league in screen passes. Todd Haley feels it's a good way to kind of slow down the pass rush. We saw it first down. Now Roethlisberger was hit as he threw the ball. Since then, we've seen back-to-back -back screen plays. Second and 10 now for Pittsburgh. So they get back the yardage off the penalty. Roethlisberger. Oh! Major hit. Brown took a shot. It's incomplete. Brent Grimes right there for Miami. Well, watch the timing. He sees the slant route coming. And the fans are saying that should be a hit on a defenseless receiver. He also led with his helmet. Actually, his shoulder got the shoulder of Brown. That's why no flag was thrown. Big hit by Grimes. Sets up a third and ten now for Pittsburgh. Hey, Brown, lock, lock, lock. Five, two. Working from the gun. Rush is coming. Roethlisberger lets it fly. It's complete to Brown. Antonio Brown has got a first down for the Steelers. Well, this is great when you see two outstanding players working against each other as Grimes and Brown are. Brown does a super job in knowing where he is on the field. Roethlisberger stepped up to avoid the sack from Wake and threw a strike. Brown now with 89 catches on the season. Set it up for Sanders. Catching one. Sanders. Sanders. Brought down by Clemens. That's the third screen pass we've seen on this drive. This one a wide receiver screen to Sanders. Ben gets it out quickly and there's the blocking down the field. Heath Miller again and Kochery leading the way for 21. Pittsburgh has worked its way into Miami territory inside the 30. They're down to a minute and five to go in the third. Give it to Bell. Le'Veon Bell's got a lane. Marcus Gilbert with a good block up front. The spot will determine whether it's a nine, nine and a half yard gain. Usually you don't like to see a running back hesitate, but Bell's got uh, a way of pausing more than really any indecision on his part. He gets it again. First down. Short of the 15-yard line. And that will probably be the end of this third quarter. Now they're Pittsburgh. at the line of scrimmage, and I think they're going to run another play. Roethlisberger getting instructions. You got momentum. This is a good idea. Down to 15 Five. seconds left. Bell remains in there. 10 seconds left. Yeah, yeah. Bell goes in motion. Final play of the quarter. Pump. Throw. Knocked down. He threw it at Soliai. End of three. 24-21. The Dolphins leading the Steelers. This is the NFL on CBS. Start of the fourth quarter, Miami 24, Pittsburgh 21. I'll go back to this play by Paul Soliai. He's going to drop into pass coverage here. Reads the eyes of the quarterback and almost comes up with a pick six. Well, maybe not a pick six, but at least a pick. <laughs> Second and ten here for Pittsburgh, deep in Miami territory. Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, the rest of our NFL on CBS crew. That third quarter had a lot going on. Miami had the lead at halftime. Pittsburgh able to regain the lead. Miami bounces back. Tannehill to Hartline. And that's the three-point differential right now. 11th play of the drive for the Steelers. The snow has basically stopped here in Pittsburgh. Kotchery goes in motion. On second and ten for Pittsburgh. 
Roethlisberger throws. Touchdown! It's Cotchery! Steelers take the lead. A 16-yard bullet from Roethlisberger. Now Roethlisberger with another touchdown pass, and this one, he squeezes it in a very tight window here. Cotchery right down the middle of the field. There's his size as he bounces off Rashad Jones and Ellerby for another touchdown, his ninth of the year. Sean sweeps him on for the point after. <laughs> 11 plays, 78 yards for the Steelers. Roethlisberger on the money for Contrary. Look it up to the heavens. Right now, Pittsburgh has got the lead. Pivotal game here in Pittsburgh. The Steelers leading the Dolphins 28 to 24. Pittsburgh at five and seven. Miami at six and six. Ben Roethlisberger, 17 of 25, 235 yards, three touchdowns over the last five games. 12 touchdowns, one interception. He's now gone 175 straight pass attempts without a pick. That's the longest streak in his career. Miami defense, they had given up just one touchdown to a wide receiver coming into this game. They've allowed three today. Sanders, Brown, and Cotchery. Sweetson kicks it off. Short kick, thick pin. On the move, and he is tackled at the 25 by Golden. Now remember how Paul Soliai knocked the pass down, dropping out? Well, here's Jared uh, Audric. He's going to drop out here. And Roethlisberger is going to see it and squeeze this ball right past his shoulder to a wide open Jericho Cotri. He bounces off a couple of Dolphins, but uh, you can fool Ben once, but you're not going to fool him twice. Lamar Miller out with a concussion. Daniel Thomas, who many thought may not even play again this season, is in there for Miami. Thomas picks up two yards running inside William Gay gets him down low along with Woodley now the fourth quarter has not been strong for Miami you're talking about eight games where they have not scored an offensive touchdown in the fourth On second and eight, Tannehill, nice play fake. Tannehill throws the deep ball. Wallace, incomplete. It's broken up by Allen. Now Tannehill would have liked to have seen Mike Wallace maybe put the brakes on here and go up for this ball instead of waiting for the, the ball to come to him. Got to give Allen a lot of credit here. He closes on Wallace, ball slightly underthrown. Wallace had two steps, but Allen with great makeup speed to knock it away. It's third and eight now for Miami. Just underway here in the fourth. Tannehill, a high throw. Clay breaks a tackle, and Clay has got a first down. He has done it all for the Dolphins today. Troy Polamalu had a chance to bring him down. Well, first of all, it's a great catch by Clay. 42 working as an outlet receiver. Goes high in the air to make the catch and then just discards Polamalu. Knows what he needs for the first down. That's a huge play for the Dolphins. All right, now, four, all four, three. All four, three. New set of downs for Miami just right, across right, the 35-yard right, right, right. line. Right, they trail Pittsburgh 28 to 24. Get it to Thomas. Up the gut. Thomas tackled at the 44-yard line. Woodley and Allen combined. Seven-yard game. Playoff picture in the AFC. 
Wild card, Kansas City, 9-3. and three. You can put them in the postseason. Baltimore currently trailing Minnesota. It's 12-7 with 10 and a half minutes to go. Miami at 6-6. Six and six. Pittsburgh at 5-7. and seven. 47 yards on the ground for Thomas and a touchdown. Michael Agnew sets up in front of Thomas. Bootleg, Tannehill. Sideline throw. It's Hartline incomplete. Yep. Palomalo did a great job of knocking that ball out. Hartline had it, has both feet down, then Palomalo comes and knocks the ball away. There's the catch, the feet down, but you got to control the ball throughout the entire catch. Two out of three means incomplete. Got to have all three. It sets up a third and three now for Miami. Play clock winding down. And a timeout taken by Pittsburgh. Steelers have two timeouts left. We've got 12.38 to go here in the fourth. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by FedEx One Rate. Simple flat rate shipping with the reliability of FedEx. Sonos, the wireless hi-fi system. And by Walmart. Shop early for the season's hottest gifts backed by our new Christmas ad match. Coming up after the game, the Subway Post Game Show. JB and company, the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Subway Post Game Show. Third and three for Miami. Still early stages, fourth quarter. Tannehill pumps. Tannehill is sacked. Jason Worlds. He has gotten the opportunity this season, and he has seized it. Now this is exactly where Worlds wants to play as an outside rush linebacker here, working against Tyson Claybo. And really good coverage down the field caused Tyna Hill to pull the ball down, and by that time, Worlds was on his back. Miami to punt with Brandon Fields. Antonio Brown averaging 12.8 yards per return, and he is hit right away by Marlon Moore, the backup wide receiver on special teams. 44-yard punt. No return for Brown. Well, Mike Tomlin, it's been a tumultuous week for him. Following the incident in Baltimore, Tomlin with Jacoby Jones returning a kickoff. Tomlin clearly interferes. Now, whether or not it cost Jones a touchdown, yeah, that's speculation, but you're not supposed to be there. The league fined him for it, $100,000. Jason Lockenflora, our colleague at CBS Sports, reporting that the Steelers will also leave, lose a late-round draft pick in 2014. But right now, the focus is on the field for Pittsburgh. They've got a 28-24 lead and the ball. Drop ball by Bell. It's incomplete. Derek Shelby getting over there just in case. Now this ball perfectly thrown, but never controlled by Bell. Pretty good hustle there by Derek Shelby. Run down the running back, Le'Veon Bell. Second and ten now for Pittsburgh. 11.50 to go in the fourth. Line. 25th all-time meeting between these two teams. Five straight wins for the Steelers over the Dolphins. The pump by Roethlisberger. The throw. Incomplete. It's Bell again. Rashad Jones, the safety, in coverage. Great reaction by Rashad Jones, number 20 here. Watch the ball and then watch the hit. Can't do it any better than that. So third and ten now for the Steelers. 
293 hey, yards of offense for Pittsburgh. I say on your boot. Hey, 51! Cotri goes in motion. Roethlisberger to throw it. Roethlisberger steps up. Roethlisberger fires. Miami feels it's incomplete. The officials disagree. Caught by Sanders and a first down for Pittsburgh. Now there appears to be some indecision on the officials' part here. From that angle, looks like a good catch. Yeah, he cradles the ball. Yeah, he does a great job. Both hands underneath the ball as he hits the ground. Go for the play as a catch. First and ten. Pittsburgh. Well, it's irrelevant. They called a hold. That was the discussion. But it's going to be a clean catch and a first down for Sanders. Hold against Miami. More yardage with the catch. So line of scrimmage just shy of the 30-yard line. We're down to 11.25 to go in the fourth. Let's go, Ram. Over 300 yards of offense now for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger. Shovels it out for Bell. Rashad Jones cuts him down low. Looks like Ben tossed that with the left hand for four yards. Well, he definitely did. The gloved left hand. You know, that third down conversion, the Steelers had really struggled this season on third downs. They're 8 of 13 today. Second and six now for the Steelers. I finished him, Mike! Little jump, Roethlisberger will reset here with his teammates. Play clock down to one. Running play, Bell. Le'Veon Bell is wrestled down at the 35. Randy Stark's first man there. It's a two-yard gain for the rookie. Le'Veon Bell missed the first three games of the season with a foot injury, and the Steelers missed him. They started the year 0-4. They have climbed back into contention. And at 5-7, still with a chance to make the postseason. But this is considered a must-win situation for the Steelers. Third and four. Walkelsberger, incomplete. Sanders slides down. He thought he was held by Nolan Carroll. It's fourth down for the Steelers. Even if he wasn't held, I'm not sure that uh, this ball was catchable. Looked like it might have been deflected there. And a tough try for Sanders. And it looked like uh, there may have been a Dolphin defensive lineman that got a finger on that one because it took the ball out of spiral for Roethlisberger. Matt McBriar on the field to punt it. Marcus Thigpen standing at his own 20 for Miami. Good kick. Fair catch called for at the 21. That's where Miami will have it after the 44-yard punt. 28-24, Pittsburgh. Cold day here in Pittsburgh. Snow in the first half. That has tapered off in this second half. Some people can get some warmth from their beard. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. 9.35 to go, 28-24, Steelers. Play fake, Tannehill gets rid of it. Lamar Woodley getting to the QB. And Tannehill barely got this ball off, but I don't think he threw it far enough to the pass the line of scrimmage. Came up about a yard short of the down marker there. Great effort by Tannehill and Woodley. It's going to be intentional grounding. Tannehill saying, I had a receiver in the area. And that's what the officials are discussing right now. The quarterback was out of the pocket. The ball did not get back to the line of scrimmage. However, number 42 
was in the vicinity of where the ball landed. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Well, maybe Tannehill should have been pre-law. Yeah, you never want to hear that word, however, <laughs> if you're the, the Steelers. Here's Clay right here. He's going to find his way over to this side of the field. And he definitely is in the area. That's a good job by the officials getting together and making that call. Tannehill came over to make his argument. Second and ten now for the Dolphins. 9.29 to go in the fourth. Running play to Thomas. Not much there for Thomas. Picks up three yards on the play. Lawrence Timmons with a tackle for Pittsburgh. The race for sixth. A look not only at what Miami and Pittsburgh has left, but Baltimore as well. They have to go to Detroit. They host New England at Cincinnati. By far the most difficult schedule of the three teams. Ravens trailing the Minnesota Vikings with six and a half minutes to go in Baltimore. Third and seven, Tannehill. Tannehill makes the connection, but it is short. Brian Hartline with a catch. Not enough for the first down. Five-yard gain. A great tackle here by William Gay. Just enough as Hartline trying to cut. Loses his footing on this uh, snowy field. But Gay in great position. And the Dolphins have to punt. Fifth punt of the day for Brandon Fields. Antonio Brown is the returner for Pittsburgh. And penalty marker on the play, so that first punt will not count. Ball start prior to the snap. Offense number 36, five-yard penalty, fourth down. Boy, and every inch counts in this game. Now you're backing this the uh, Dolphins up five more yards. It'll give Brown an excellent shot because Fields is not getting his normal hang time because of this cold weather. He's been kicking it long, and that uh, is not always a good sign when you can't get the height with it. Don Jones called on the penalty. Four penalties against Miami, costing the Dolphins 31 yards. Five against Pittsburgh for 34 yards. Fields a little bit deeper now. Line drive, low. Brown returnable. And Brown is out of bounds. Seven-yard return. 46-yard punt. Pittsburgh has the lead and the football when we come back. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the all-new 2014 Jeep Cherokee. Built free. And by Subway. Get your own Big Hot Pastrami from Subway today. Subway, eat fresh. One of the best venues in sports, Heinz Field. Views of the city and the river. And right now, Pittsburgh in front, 28 to 24, with 7.51 to go in the fourth against Miami. Fake the handoff to Bell. Roethlisberger to throw it. It's Cotchery with a catch into Miami territory. A tight window, Roethlisberger, 19 yards. Cotchery now the leading receiver for Roethlisberger on the afternoon. Look at the pass protection, the lane to throw through. And squeezing it in there before Clemens can come over. Big day for Jericho Cotchery. What we got, what we got? Huh? Five catches, 62 yards, and a touchdown for the veteran. Inside the Miami 45. Black one. Black one. A single, single, five, two. January. Set. Check it to a running play. Le'Veon Bell. It's a one-yard gain. Cameron Wake with the tackle for the Dolphins. Coming up after the game, the Subway Post Game Show. JB and the rest of the game. The latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Subway Post Game Show. Will Ryan Tannehill get an opportunity here for Miami? 
Four down. Pittsburgh leads it 28 to 24. 95 down. We're down to six and a half to go on the fourth. What's the play? Hey, coming this way. Y'all are out. Yep. Play clock is down to two. Oh. It's down to one. They get the snap off. Or do they? False start. Ball start, offense, number 72, double clutch on the snap. Five-yard penalty, second down. It is Cody Wallace getting his first NFL start at center. Fernando Velasco going down with an Achilles injury against Baltimore last week. Yeah, Wallace has done a pretty good job today. Really the first time, we, the second time we've had to call his name. Hey, Ram, Ram! We hit six minutes to play in the fourth. Second and 14, Roethlisberger. It's Cotchery again. Jericho Cotchery. Terrific day Cotchery has put together. That's now six catches for Cotchery, 74 yards. Ineligible downfield. Offense, 73. Five-yard penalty. Replay. Second yeah, down. Ramon Foster down the field on this little screen pass to Kachery. Here's number 73. Here's Kachery comes on the little slant route. And that's that's they could have got uh, the center Cody Wallace as well for being down the field. Rule is you have to be within two yards and clearly Wallace and Foster were past that point. Antonio Brown, he's brought down five-yard gain. That penalty makes a change here because it changes the whole concept of what Pittsburgh's doing. The JS patch Dan, that's in honor of Jerry Seaman, former NFL referee and supervisor of officials, just passed away at the age of 77. Just a wonderful guy, had a chance to be in his company a number of times traveling around NFL cities. Yeah, he worked a number of my games and always felt that he was fair and honest and uh, bottom, bottom. had uh, the quarterback's best interest in mind a lot of the time. He knew just how big and strong those defensive tackles were. Third and 14. Roethlisberger throws. Knocked away at the last moment. Cotchery, the intended receiver. And it's Nolan Carroll making the play for Miami. Boy, both defensive backs, number 28 today, have had pretty good days. Cortez Allen for the Steelers and Nolan Carroll with this layout here as Cotchery had enough yardage for the first down if the ball could get to him. But Carroll laying out. What a play. Matt McBriar to punt it. Thick pen waiting at the 10. 4.39 to go. Rush was on. McBriar gets it off. This one bounces at the 5 and rolls into the end zone. The Dolphins will have it at the 20-yard line. A 48-yard punt, but a net of 28. Now, this is nothing new for Miami. Close games. They've had four decided in the last minute. Week three against Atlanta. Deion Sims with the touchdown catch. The Dolphins win. Week seven against Buffalo. Dan Carpenter, the former Dolphin, wins it for the Bills. Week nine versus Cincinnati. Cameron Wake, the sack of Andy Dalton in the end zone in overtime. Miami gets the W. And then week 12, Greg Olson's touchdown catch with 43 seconds left. That was the difference. Carolina, the victory over Miami. And the difference in this, four points. Sound hey, familiar, we're Dolphin we're fans? We got these two out here, Leo. We got Dolphins are four three. and four all in games four. decided by four points or less. That's eight games, the most in the NFL. Four and a half to go. Ravens have just taken the lead with two minutes to go against Minnesota. Tannehill gets rid of it. Caught by Hartline. Hartline works his way towards the 30. And they're going to spot it just shy of a first down. And that's one thing that Mike Tomlin said that his defense has to do is tackle today. They've had a number 
of broken tackles in their previous games. That was a good solid tackle by Ike Taylor that time. I got 94. Chico. Second and less than a yard. The maturation of Ryan Tannehill go. in his second year. They're asking Tannehill to go out and help win the game. Daniel Thomas, a long run. Thomas makes a cut up field. Thomas looking for an angle. Thomas being chased from behind, and William Gay will help save the touchdown. Pouncey and Brenner, key blocks, creating space for Daniel Thomas. 55-yard burst. Watch Pouncey get out in front of this one, too. Not many centers can pull and lead the way, but he gets the block on Polamalu, and then a tremendous effort by Daniel Thomas, but where's the blocking here? You know, all what Mike Wallace has to do is turn around, but he doesn't have eyes behind his head, so he can't see William Gay. Longest running play of the season for the Miami Dolphins. Thomas now over 100 yards. Tannehill out of the gun. Tannehill a dump off. Marcus Thickpen. Zigzags out of bounds. Ziggy Hood over there defensively. Four-yard gain on the pass. Well, Daniel Thomas, he wasn't even expected to play today. The bad left ankle, he's over 100 yards now. This 55-yarder has got the Dolphins thinking that they're in business and may be able to score an offensive touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Second and six, the ball is at the 12. We've got 3.02 remaining in Pittsburgh. Single setback, Thomas. Tannehill gets rid of it. Catch is made by Clay. Clay! How did he do it? Charles Clay breaking free for the touchdown. Allen and Polamalu had a chance to bring him down. Clay is a magician. Miami takes the lead here in the fourth. Unbelievable effort by Charles Clay. He broke a tackle of Polamalu earlier in this quarter, and he does the same thing this time and gets six. The most points Miami has scored in a game this season. Extra point coming from Sturgis. And it's critical to give them a three-point lead. Sturgis knocks it through. It's 31-28. Dolphins. 2.53 left to go in the fourth. Well, two plays after the 55-yard run by Thomas. Tannehill finds Clay. Breaks a tackle of Cortez Allen twice. Once from Polamalu. Forward progress was never established on either of those tackle attempts. And the frustration from Polamalu. Clay slippery once again. And a really great example of a guy taking advantage of his opportunity. Dustin Keller goes down with a injury, a season in an injury, beginning of the season. Clay steps up. They always talk about somebody having to step up. That's a huge step by Charles Clay. A torn ACL for Keller in the preseason, his right knee. Charles Clay has stepped into the spotlight. Seven catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns for Clay. A four-play, 80-yard drive for Miami. They take a 31-28 lead over Pittsburgh. 2.53 to go. Sturgis kicks it off. Sanders is going to take it out. Sanders! Flag thrown as he lunges across the 20-yard line. Jordan Kovacs over there on special teams for Miami. And another critical illegal block penalty on a kickoff return. This one will back the Steelers up. During the return, holding for 55. 10-yard penalty, first and 10, Pittsburgh. Stevenson, Sylvester. And I and the Steelers have two timeouts to work with. Remember, they called one when, when Miami had third down and three, and the Steelers were on defense. And the Steelers burned a timeout. That could be really costly. 
Here's the playoff picture updated. The Jets with a win now 6 and 7. Kansas City improves to 10 and 3. Baltimore in a battle with Minnesota. The Vikings have taken the lead on the Ravens with a minute 50 to go. We have 2.49 to play here in the fourth. Three-point lead for Miami. Roethlisberger throwing. Incomplete. Trying to hit Le'Veon Bell. Roethlisberger. 21 of 34, 275 yards, three touchdowns. And Pittsburgh's season is on the line. Second and 10. From the 10. Roethlisberger. Guns it. Long. Incomplete. Cotchery, the intended receiver, Brent Grimes. Back there defensively for the Dolphins. It's third and ten for Pittsburgh. Uh, Grimes with really tight coverage here. Great effort by Kotri. He pushes off just a little bit right there. That ball really zipped by Roethlisberger. He bought extra time in the pocket. Now faces a very difficult third and ten backed up. That line. Steelers trailing by three. Roethlisberger rifles over the middle. Juggled, incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders. It's fourth down for the Steelers. They have two timeouts. They have the two-minute warning. What's the plan here for Mike Tomlin? Boy, no, Carroll gets away with the pass interference on that play. Todd Haley... Looking at his play sheet, Roethlisberger getting the play now on fourth and ten. And they're going to call a timeout to talk about it. 2.33 left. Pittsburgh has one timeout remaining. They face a fourth and ten from the ten-yard line. Miami leads the Steelers 31 to 28 back and forth in this second half a wild third quarter But in the fourth quarter Ryan Tannehill and Daniel Thomas came up big here's your game summary the touchdown for Kotchery puts Pittsburgh in front and then Miami able to answer Ryan Tannehill this effort from Charles Clay, who has two touchdowns, seven catches, 97 yards, breaking a tackle and taking it all the way to give Miami a 31-28 lead. Well, since Pittsburgh has one timeout remaining and 2.33 on the clock, they're going for it on fourth down. Fourth and ten for the Steelers. Now the Dolphins see what uh, the formation is. They will call timeout and make their adjustments on the sidelines. Joe Philbin will have two timeouts left, 2.33 remaining on the clock. What's at stake here? Steelers are 5-7, and seven. the Dolphins are 6-6. Six and six. Both teams not only trying to stay alive in the AFC playoff picture, but an opportunity based on the Baltimore Ravens-Minnesota Vikings result to make a move in the standings. Baltimore has just regained the lead against the Minnesota Vikings. Miami tied with the Ravens at 6-6. Six and six. The Jets are 6-7. Six and seven. Fourth and ten for Pittsburgh. Here's their season. 2.33 to go. Roethlisberger, rush coming, steps up, Roethlisberger, it's going to run for it, Roethlisberger, short, but a flag, late hit, Roethlisberger did not get the 10 yards he needed, 
penalty markers uh, they're come down. Get Cody Wallace for the block in the back. So this is going to be against the Steelers. Roethlisberger did everything he could to try to get to it. He was short. And Wallace comes over the top. He drills uh, Koa Misi right in the back. Huge call here. After the play, personal foul on the 77th offense. It'll be first and 10, Miami's football. Half the distance. Yeah, they're calling Marcus Gilbert, but it was against the center 72, not 77. There's an injured Dolphin on the play. It's Koa Misi. Now, Koa Misi got drilled in the back here by the center, Cody Wallace. That's why he's still on the ground. Oof. Olivier Vernon made the play on Roethlisberger. Did not get the yard to gain the 20-yard line, which would have given Pittsburgh a first down. So the Miami Dolphins take over. Misi is up on his feet, walking to the Dolphins' sideline. We've got 2.23 left, two-minute warning, and one timeout left for Mike Tomlin's team. Yeah, the Dolphins shouldn't get conservative here. They should try everything they can to get into the end zone here as a field goal would still allow the Steelers to score a touchdown and win this game. So play calling here for the Dolphins and Mike Sherman, their offensive coordinator, has to be aggressive. Nate Hard Garner. line late to the uh, formation here. Extra offensive lineman for Miami. Nate Garner is in there. First and goal from the nine. Running play, it's Thomas. Nothing there for Daniel Thomas. Ziggy Hood makes the play for Pittsburgh. Steelers will not use the timeout. And we're going to hit the two-minute warning. Second and goal coming up for Miami. They've got a 31-28 lead in Pittsburgh. Update in Baltimore. Minnesota has taken the lead against the Ravens. 26-22 with 45 seconds to go. Our situation here in Pittsburgh, 31-28, Dolphins lead, two minutes to play. They've got a second and goal now from the nine. Go, go. Tannehill on a gift for Thomas. Thomas tripped up. Looked like he had a head of steam. And the timeout used by Pittsburgh. Final timeout for the Steelers. Stops the clock with 1.54 to play. Now, Thomas actually, by going down and not trying to get to the corner, cost the uh, Steelers the timeout. So it looked like he may have gotten to the end zone before he tripped, but by tripping, it may turn out better for the Dolphins. So third and goal now for Miami. What's the game plan here for Mike Sherman and for Joe Philbin? Well, the last time, remember when Tannehill hit Clay for the touchdown, they rolled him out, and when they also, when they hit Hartline for the touchdown, they rolled him out. And the Dolphins have the wide side of the field to the Tannehill's right, his throwing side. So if they're going to throw the ball, I would expect to have him on the run where he can either throw it away or run for it himself. Incomplete pass, though, would stop the clock. So the play selection here is key for Miami. They'll keep it on the ground. Daniel Thomas is drilled by Timmons. It's fourth down for the Dolphins. Pittsburgh has no timeouts left. Fourth down, Tannehill getting instructions here. The question, do you kick? Well, or first do you go really, for it? He's going to tell John Perry he wants to run the play clock all the way down, and then he'll use one of their two remaining timeouts, and they'll talk about it on the sidelines. Kick the field goal, you extend the lead to six, obviously leaving the door open for Pittsburgh, but asking the Steelers to go the length of the field to win it. Now you bring out the uh, field the goal second. team. Charge timeout, Miami. 30-second timeout. So stop the clock with 1.12 to go. 
And here comes Caleb Sturgis. It'll be a short field goal for Sturgis. Steelers went for it on fourth and ten. Roethlisberger came up short on the run. Penalty was called on the play against Pittsburgh. I remember a, an extra point not too long ago. Sturgis barely put it between the post. This is a little bit longer than an extra point. He is 23 of 30 on the season. This is a 27-yard attempt. Brandon Fields will hold it. The longtime snapper, John Denny, will get it to Fields. Polamalu pressing the line. Sturgis, chip shot. He nails it. Miami takes a 34-28 lead over Pittsburgh with 108 left in the fourth. Well, Paul Amala trying to affect the snap. Here he is right here. Going to come right up here and try to distract John Denny. But as you said, Ian, he's a veteran snapper, and he snaps it perfectly. And Sturgis pays it off. Joe Philbin's team, home for New England at Buffalo, home for the Jets to wrap up the season, and a chance to move to 7-6 and six with a win here in Pittsburgh. Steelers, no timeouts, a minute eight left on the clock. Ben Roethlisberger, 31 career game-winning drives in the fourth quarter in overtime. That's the fourth most among active players. Charles Clay has been a star today for Miami. Seven catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns. And Emmanuel Sanders, he'll get a chance to return this one, too. We haven't seen any touchbacks today that have gone out of the back of the end zone so this should be returned kickoff from Sturgis Sanders from the one for Pittsburgh Sanders brought down short of the 20-yard line by Trusnick on special teams and the Steelers have a long way to go here 103 left. Six point lead for Miami. They'll place the football at the 20 yard line. And Roethlisberger has plenty of weapons. His longest pass of the day was to Antonio Brown, that 43 yarder that got him into the end zone on a crossing route against the zone. You'll see a lot of zone in this possession. Brown now with 90 catches on the season. Second stealer to do it along with Heinz Ward. Here's Roethlisberger. Under a minute left. Roethlisberger. Incomplete. Off the hands of Bell. And he would have been hit by Wilson immediately. Second and ten for Pittsburgh. A great pass rush by the Dolphins. It's a four-man rush. And who else but uh, Cameron Wake is going to get in after the quarterback as he slides inside. Of Marcus Gilbert one more time five straight incomplete passes for Ben Roethlisberger 57 seconds to go Roethlisberger is sacked Wake and Vernon combined to bring down Ben Roethlisberger and the clock is running and uh, the Dolphins have the ball in the end zone the officials should stop this play right now Dolphins did a great job of taking time off the clock by taking the ball. It's now third and 16 for Pittsburgh. We're down to 27 seconds to go. Roethlisberger shovels it ahead. Le'Veon Bell. Bell remains on his feet. Breaks one tackle. Bell trying to get to the sideline. Lateral for Sanders. And Sanders is brought down at the 21. We're down to 10 seconds left. The clock is rolling. Five seconds left. Steelers try to line up. Two seconds. One second. They get the snap off. Desperation time for Pittsburgh. A throw to the outside. Sanders. Play the lateral game here for Pittsburgh. Backward pass. Roethlisberger now running. Shovels out for Brown. Brown's got room. Brown down the sideline. 
Miami trying to bring him down. Antonio Brown. Incredible. He's out of bounds at the 13-yard line, Ian. It's over. He's ruled out of bounds on the far side. But there's a discussion by the officials. It's over. Dolphins spilling onto the field. Runner stepped out of bounds prior to score. There will be no miracle Game is over. in Pittsburgh. Antonio Brown, a last-ditch effort by the Steelers. Brown on the sideline. Right there, great call by the officials, Ian. Left foot clearly out of bounds. What an effort, though, by Brown. Chris Clemens giving chase. Antonio Brown plants the left foot on the sideline. The Steelers were that close to stealing a win. Baltimore has regained the lead against Minnesota. The twists and turns in this AFC playoff chase. Stephen Ross, the owner of the Dolphins, congratulating his players. It's the Dolphins with a sigh of relief and a big one. 34-28. Miami holds on in Pittsburgh.